So today we're gonna to review how to graph an inequality. So the first thing that you wanna have in your notes is that if it is greater than or less than, it's a dashed line. Greater than or less than, we're gonna use a dashed line. And the points on the line are not going to be solutions. But if it's if it has that equal to line under it, when we graph it, the line is solid and the points on the line are solutions. If it's greater than and equal to or if it's greater than or greater than and equal to, we're gonna shade above. But if it's a less than or less than and equal to, we shade below. So we're only going to do, we're gonna do four graphs. If you have your Agile Mind book from last semester, there's graph paper in the back, but if you don't have your Agile Mind book from last semester, just do the best you can, sketch it out to the best of your ability, um, and that's fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and go ahead and start with our first example here. So copy down example number one. We're going to do four today. So for our first one, we're going to graph y is greater than two thirds x minus four. So take about 60 seconds to copy it down and then we will work through it together. Okay, so let's look at number one. So this is your y-intercept right here, this negative four. That's your B value. And this tells you where to begin, B stands for begin, on the y-axis. So on the y-axis, put a point here at negative four. And then the slope, which is M, is two thirds and we use M because that tells us how to move. So because it's positive, we're going to go up two and then to the right three. We always go to the right. So from this point where we began, go up two, one, two, to the right three, one, two, three, put a point. And then repeat from this point, go up two, to the right three, put a point. And then up two, to the right three, put a point. 
Now for this example, this does not have an equal to line. So if you go back to the beginning of the lesson, when it doesn't have the equal to line underneath, it's a dash line. So we're gonna graph a dash line. And this is greater than, so we're gonna shade above. So let's draw our dash line first. And then we're gonna shade above the line. So this is my y-intercept. We're gonna shade above. So this whole area above is included as part of the solution. So this whole area. Is shaded. So what you need to know for your homework and for your test is that the area in the yellow, any point in this yellow section would be a solution. If it's on the red line, because it's dashed, that would not count as a solution. So for example, the point six zero is not a solution. The point zero negative four is not a solution. It has to be in this yellow area. So zero, zero would be a solution. Negative two, five is a solution. So anything in the yellow area is a solution. And that's it. So let's do another one where it's just one inequality. And then we will um, do a system of inequalities. So go ahead and copy down question number two, and then we'll work through it together shortly. Okay, so let's look at example number two. So for example number two, we have our B value is two. So our y-intercept is two. Our slope, which again, M tells us how to move is negative three over four. So we're gonna go down three because it's negative. This time we're gonna go down and then we go right four. For this example is equal to, so we're not going to use a dash line. We're gonna graph it with a solid line. And this is a less than, so we're gonna shade below. Those are the four key things about this graph.
So let's graph it. So we're gonna put our point on two. And then we're gonna move down three to the right four, put a point. Repeat, down three to the right four, put a point. And then now let's connect it with a solid line. And because it's less than this time, we're gonna shade below. So below this line, everything is shaded. And any point below the line or on the line would count as a solution because if it's a solid line, we can use the points that fall on the line. So anything on the red line would be okay and anything in the yellow would be okay. Okay, so for example three, we're gonna to go to a system and a system simply means it's more than one. So whenever you see the word system, that means instead of having just one graph, we're gonna have more than one graph. So for this one, we have two graphs. So take about 60 seconds to copy down these two inequalities and then we're gonna grade them. We're going to graph them both. Okay, so let's look at the first one here. This one that says y is less than or equal to negative three x plus five. And let's write down the four key things about this graph. So the first key thing is where do we begin? Well, our y-intercept is five, so we're gonna start at five. The second key thing is how do we move? Well, if our slope is negative three, we're gonna make that a fraction by putting it over one and we're gonna move down three because it's negative, we go down three and we're gonna to go to the right one. For this example, it's not, it doesn't have a line under it. So it is a dashed line. So that's the fourth key thing about this graph. And this is less than, so you're gonna shade below. So let's go ahead and graph that out. So we started at five and now I'm gonna move 
down three to the right one, put a point, and then just keep repeating that. Go down three to the right one, down three to the right one. Okay. And now we're gonna use a solid line. And I'm gonna shade below. So below the area that would fall below the five. So that would be all of this area. I'm gonna use yellow for the first one. So now we're ready to graph our second inequality. Four X minus two Y is less than or equal to 12. Now this one is not ready to be solved because it needs to be in slope intercept form. So we need to subtract the 4x and we need to divide it by negative two. And whenever you divide an inequality by a negative, you have to flip the sign. So it becomes y. So this sign is gonna flip and become greater than or equal to. When you divide two negatives, it becomes a positive. So that's a positive two x and this is a negative six. So now we're ready to graph this and we're gonna write the four key things about this graph. So the first thing is where do we begin? I begin at negative six. My slope is two over one. So I'm gonna move up two and then write one. This one is equal to, so it's a solid line. And because I had to divide by a negative, it flipped. So I'm gonna shade above because it's greater than. So let's go ahead and do that one. So we have our point at negative six. And now I'm gonna go up two to the right one, put a point. Now, only because I'm graphing on an iPad and I can't put a ruler down on my iPad, I, I put a lot of points, but if you're graphing this on paper and you have a straight edge, then you can just, it's easier to make a straight line. So for the blue line, I'm gonna shade above the blue line. So I'm gonna switch color. So I use yellow for the first one. And for this one, I'm gonna to switch to pink. So I'm gonna shade above. So that would be all of this. So what you wanna be aware of is that the solution, because it's two different inequalities, is not gonna be over here where it's white. It's not gonna be here where this area is only pink. It's not down here where it's only yellow. It's where it's pink and yellow. So the solution to this system is this area of the graph. 
because this is the area that's pink and yellow. So the solution would have to be areas over here. Any point over here is a solution. If it's on this blue line, it would be a solution. But if it's on this red line, remember, dash lines don't count. And if it's here where they come together, that, that doesn't count also because we have a dash and a, solid, and a solid at this point. So it would have to be over here or it has to be on the blue line. So we only have one more question to cover today. I'm gonna to give you a moment to put questions in the chat, take notes. Um, after today, you should be able to finish the first homework. So I'll pause for a minute just in case I See any questions in the chat? Okay, so let's go ahead and copy down our last question for today. Take a minute and copy these two down, and then we will work through them together in about 60 seconds. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with our last example. So this one, y is greater than or equal to three. Oh, not, it's not equal to, it just says y is greater than three, sorry. So it's just y is greater than three. So first of all, this is going to be a horizontal line. So we're gonna put our point because it says Y, put a point at three on the Y axis. This is going to be a dashed line because it's not equal to, and because it's greater than, we're gonna shade above. So I'm picking up my little pencil when I'm graphing this line. And now I'm gonna shade. 
the area above because this is where y is greater than three. If I shade it below, well, these numbers on the y-axis are less than three. So we're gonna shade above. For our second inequality, that says x is less than or equal to negative two. And this is the opposite. So the opposite of horizontal is vertical. So this is a vertical line. So I'll put a point at negative two on the x-axis. Now this one has the line under it, so it's not going to be solid. It's a, I mean, it's not going to be dashed, sorry. This one has a line under it, so it's going to be a solid line. So one of my students used to say, if it has a solid line under it, then we graph it with a solid line. If it doesn't have a solid line, then we graph it with a dashed line. And I think that works just fine. So a solid vertical line And then in your notes, write this down for vertical lines. Because a vertical line, there is no such thing as above and below for a vertical line. So write this in your notes. If it's a vertical line, that means it's x is greater than, or if you have x greater than or equal to, then you're going to shade on the right. But, if it's x is less than or x is less than and equal to, we're gonna shade on the left. So when we're talking about a vertical line, it's not above and below, it's left and right. So for this example, because it's a less than, we're gonna shade on the left of the purple line. So we're gonna shade the left side. So I'm gonna switch from pink to yellow. And I'm gonna shade the left side of the purple line in yellow. Now the solution though, the solution is where it is shaded, both pink and yellow. So that would be this area right here. So that's the part that needs to be darker. So it's not over here because this is only pink and it's not here because this is only yellow and it's not here because this isn't shaded at all. So it would have to be on in this square. It could be on the purple line, that would be okay. It could not be on this red line because that's dash and it could be in this area. So that's all I have for you for today. You need to work on homework one because you have more than one attempt at it. And if you have questions about homework one, I am going to stay on the line for a few more moments. Um, so if you don't, I'll see you in class tomorrow. Have a good day.